Hey guys, today we are going to update the Hubson Xeno controller. This is the HT016B and this is the first update uh, Hubson's uh, brought out for this controller. So we are going to update it and um, we're not going to do the process that they recommend. We're going to do it a little differently but uh, we'll go over the different processes. To do this update, what you need to do is you need to take underneath here, there's two pins. You need to jump these pins. And um, if you look at your controller, you'll see there's five pins. And you want to jump the first two on this side. So what Hubson recommends is that you take a pair of tweezers and you put on those pins and squeeze them together. I don't recommend that. I don't think that's the best way because you're going to bend those pins and then you bend them back and if you have to do this on future updates eventually you're going to break one of those pins so I don't think that's the best way but if you have to do it it's going to be hard for you to sit there and hold it just use a clip put it on the pins clip the tweezers and you're good to go so that's one method that helps and recommends I've just added this for better hold then you can make a little micro JST plug and uh, I slide this on and it just does not grab good and it wants it's not tight enough to where it it wants to hold on and make a good connection so I'm not going that route and then there is alligator clips and like I said in my other video, you can just simply file these down, make a nice flat surface to grab those pins. That would probably work fine. And then somebody else mentioned using forceps. Um, I still can't find my forceps. I don't know what happened to them. But uh, that's another method you could use. But one thing I thought was really brilliant because it was just so simple is somebody took a piece of aluminum foil and just took a little a little piece off you ball it up and you push that over top of the two pins it's brilliant it's easy it's simple it doesn't it doesn't damage the pins uh, the only thing you want to make sure is that you go over those two pins and you don't touch the ones beside it and you're fine so I have done that I think I'm good I think we have a good connection there but I added the foil you can see up inside mine so hopefully we have a good connection there and this is going to work. I have not updated this yet, so I don't know. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the screen. Okay, so here's all the files for the uh, update. These are all the files I will be updating, but right now we're just doing the controller for this video. So you open that up. Then you go to Update Tools. After you click several times, you'll get to USB driver, and you just want to simply click that, and then you'll be prompted and asked <clears throat> if you want to allow it, allow this app to form unknown, blah blah blah, on your computer. Click yes, and then you're, you've got the installation wizard. You're gonna click next on where you want to want to install it, and then click install. So it'll do an install process. It's going to extract it and install it. And we're going to click next. It's installing and it already installed. Now mine went much faster because I've already installed the driver. So click finish and we're done there. So it's very important to make sure you update your USB driver. So now let's go back and we're going to go to the updater and we're going to open that with a right click run as administrator and then it's going to count down and automatically open or you can click continue and open it that way so now that we have that open we're going to hook up we're going to go back to our controller here and we're going to take the micro usb and we're going to stick it into the side and then we're going to power on the quad. Now you see when we hook up, we do have lights here like it's charging. But we need to turn it on so we can connect to the uh, tool. Okay, now we hear a beep on the computer that we are connected. 
So we are going, let me, I keep hearing that beep. Yeah, it keeps beeping. Well, let's just see. Let's, uh, the file's already here. Yeah, something's not right. Let me, let me kick, see if we can connect. Yeah, there's something wrong. This isn't going to work. <laughs> so, it's good that this happened. As you can hear, there's a beep where it's connecting and disconnecting, connecting and disconnecting. So that's telling me it's probably my USB cable. I don't think there's anything wrong with my USB port. Or it could be maybe even the driver that I installed. But I'm going to unplug this cable. And let's dig up another cable and try that. Okay, so I have another cable. We'll give it a shot. Now these are also kind of typical problems that you, you, you can run into when you're doing a update. So it's actually good this happened while we're making the video. So I'm going to shut this, trans this controller off and then we're going to plug in a new USB cable and hopefully that's it. Uh, if that's not it, maybe it's the, the aluminum foil uh, connection to the pins. So let's plug into the side here. And I'm going to close this tool and reopen it. Just to start everything all over. Roll everything out. Okay, so I have the tool open again and now we have the USB plugged in and now we're going to plug in and hopefully we only get one connection beep. Okay, it beeped. Sounds like we're okay. All right, so let's go back to the monitor and the screen. All right, if you look up here under image name, it's already there. I'm going to open and get the image myself, uh, the file myself from the update folder and put it there. Um, and then we want to click reconnect. Hubson had to do this three times in their video so we might have to do it several times to do this. De device connected. Wait for it to go green. And we're connected. So we only had to click that one time. Now we want to click burn and it's going to install down here. Do you want to confirm this operation? Okay. And we're installing. So you just want to sit, simply wait for that to install. So I'm glad that the USB cable was not good and we had to try another one that way. If you run into this problem, you can, you can fix it yourself or you can diagnose it yourself after watching this video. All right, so it says burn successfully. We're going to click OK. Then we're going to click exit. And we're done with that. So let's go back to the controller. So now we have Finish that update and we're going to turn off the controller. Stay with me here because there's something more important that you have to do. So now we're going to unplug the USB and then we have to make sure we pull the aluminum foil out or whatever you use to jump your pins. Not easy to get at either way. I might have it in there permanently. Almost. Almost. There it is. There's my foil. So you just want to make sure your pins are not squeezed together and touching. 
Okay. So my pins are not touching. There's nothing jumping those pins anymore. Take out my screwdriver. And what you want to do is you want to now do a stick calibration. After every update, do your calibration. So when you do a controller update, you want to calibrate your sticks. When you do a uh, firmware upgrade to your Xeno, you want to do the horizontal calibration, compass calibration when you are out and getting ready to fly. Uh, you also want to do your gimbal calibration and stuff. So always do your calibrations after an update. Uh, it's very important. So that's why in my video I wanted to make sure that uh, I did my own because Hubson doesn't explain these things. Um, if you're new to the hobby, you don't know this, so hopefully you're watching this video now you know. So to do that, you simply need three hands, <laughs> but you take the sticks and you hold them to the upper left and you power on to you hear a bunch of beeps. Okay, you want to hit every axis point, left, right, left, right, up, down, up, down, and you want to, just for good measure, go all the way around. The key here is you want to hit every axis point that the stick can reach. Now you're going to press and hold and then let go one of these two buttons on the side. And it's done. So now we've done a stick calibration. So this is updated and the stick calibration is done. Now this isn't a just normal typical uh, update process. You have to jump those two pins. You can't simply just put a micro USB in there and do the update. You have to jump those two pins. It works like kind of a restore and install. Uh, it's not just adding, it's not just reinstalling firmware over top of another version. So um, that type of plug, it's kind of like a bind, a bind plug and uh, you're just simply jumping those two pins. So that's very important that you do that. I just want to make sure I emphasize that you don't squeeze constantly squeeze and bend squeeze and bend those pins because each time you do an update they're going to get weaker and weaker and eventually they will break so that's how you update the controller uh, it went somewhat smoothly and now I'm going to go out and test this before I do any updates to the quad. Then after I am done, if everything's okay with this, I am going to update to 1048. Uh, and the thing with that is I want to make sure everybody also knows, let me back step here a little bit, is the file says 1048 on within the folder um, for your FC. What I'm seeing is some people have done the update and then when they go in the app and check their versions it says 1.1.48. So the file says 1.0.48 and then when you update it and you check your version it actually says 1.1.48. That's just that's a tip, uh, a, an error on Hubson's point part. Um, it's all in the programming, so it's nothing that's going to harm your com your quad, uh, but it can confuse you because you think you're installing one version and then you check and you have a different version. So don't be alarmed with that. That's just a typical Hubson Hubson mistake. Um, it's they make goofy little mistakes like that from time to time but uh, don't be alarmed so hopefully this video helped you um, showed you your different ways aluminum foil worked perfectly fine you saw for yourself uh, I want to thank the two guys I'm, I apologize again I did not remember your names but I want to thank the two guys who mentioned that that was a good idea I didn't think about that and um, also just Make sure that you do your stick calibrations, you do all your calibrations on your quad after you update that. I will have a link on this video, how to do your firmware updates 
on the uh, quad itself and um, that's pretty much it so uh, I'm gonna test this and then I'm gonna test every version of this update by itself I'm gonna test the FC make sure that works good I'm gonna test the gimbal after that and make sure that works good and then I'll test the camera firmware last and make sure that's working fine and then I'll report back with my findings and uh, if it's anything that really needs to be seen I'll do a video of uh, showing whatever problems it might have I do not think this update this update has fixed everything um, so we'll find out alright thank you for watching uh, if you don't subscribe to my channel please do click that thumbs thumbs up button I really appreciate it and uh, hopefully we'll bring you some more content soon thanks and take care